So as far as automation is concerned, uh, there are a couple of things that have um, changed in Logic 10.1. So let's talk about them, shall we? If I open up automation, you'll see that, uh, you know, I can do my track automation the usual way. You know, I can just click and make some nodes and do all that kind of jazz. But what's beautiful now is not only do we have track automation, but we have region-based automation as well. You just click here and it switches over from track to region. And region-based automation means that you can go into this region, you can adjust all kinds of parameters of anything that you have on this channel strip. Then you can go to the next one and have something completely different. Another thing you can do is if you're inside the region and you do some changes, if you happen to loop that region out and look at the automation, the automation has been copied into each one of those regions now for when you repeat it. That's a beautiful thing. So that's region versus track automation. Now if we go to track automation, and let's say that I did some changes here, I'll go ahead and I'll, uh, I'll just record something really quick. Well, the automation line is really nice. That's very, very cool. Now, there's actually something that we have under volume and panning called relative and absolute. If we go to relative volume changes, then we actually get a whole new track. And if I select this region and let's say uh, pull this down a bit, you can see the volume automation, but then you get to see the relative change in automation in terms of I turn that we're getting the whole curve of the automation, but I turned it down by 5 dB. I can turn it back up. Now, if we want to just write it directly to the volume automation, all we do is we go from, instead of having relative, we say absolute value. And um, down in our touch, we say trim. And what trim is going to do in our touch automation is it'll trim in real time and write it directly to the volume track. If we wanted to, we could actually write it relative as well. And what happens is you'll see on the left hand side here, this channel strip goes gray and it shows us where the current volume is. And when we start moving our fader, it's going to create a relative change to that volume depending on what I do with the fader. So that was using relative, and so it was taking, taking what I was doing, and it's basically creating a relative change. If we go back up to volume, you'll see that it's actually shifted this stuff quite a bit. Now, if I change it to trim and hit play, I sent this being a little weird. Um, but that actually writes it directly in. So I could get rid of this uh, relative volume changes and just stick with the trim if I want to write it directly to the track. But it's important to note that it actually creates two separate tracks, uh, one for relative and one for trimming. So we have that, and then we have region versus track-based automation. Very cool stuff. very much like to thank Pyramide for hosting me here once again. Um, I think this institution is really cool and until I came here for the first time I had never seen anything like it in my whole life. What I think really separates us from other people who teach is that we are outrageously passionate about what we do and especially in electronic music. Since, since coming to Pyramind I, I've discovered electronic music and you know San Francisco being a mecca for underground electronic music opened up so many doors for me and kind of blew my mind. We cover everything from absinthe to contact. When people get to the mind-melting level, uh, we get into modular synthesis. Everything about native instruments, everything about logic synths, down to the, the finest detail, we, we learned it all. 
the fundamentals of understanding how things work, that's just essential. But then beyond that, there's so much more, and that's where it gets into just a lot of, of the artistic side of like the creative approach of, of why you do something, not just how. There's a lot of schools that just, you know, they focus on the technicality of, of recording music, um, but I wanted something that would foster creativity and, and really help me develop as an artist as well. Each of our genre-specific programs comes in four levels. There's a basic, an advanced, a professional, and then a master's level. And the master's level is, of course, everything we do. It's the largest and most powerful programs that we can create for you.